Hello and welcome back to the last spell. We're uh, we're about to do our our first combat. This is, sorry, first combat, second combat of Lakeburg. Um, first combat of the day. Sorry, I'm starting a, a fresh recording session. Sesh, sesh. All right, sorry. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I seem to have been possessed there for a moment. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get things started. We'll see how my uh, switching Lamas and. Uh, Utrid does. The one thing I am a little bit concerned about is um, uh, Utrid has very good perks for being a spellcaster and not so much for, oh sorry Utrid has pretty good perks for being a tank it's it's Lamas. Lamas has very good perks for being a tank but not so much for being a spellcaster so I'm a little bit concerned that um, yeah that's, that's not going to go well. We'll see how things go though. Um, now I would love to get Fleur a little bit of extra range because I am seeing that they don't really have the range to to catch some of these guys. Now we should be able to do a little bit of damage to these guys and then uh, I should let's let's just see how much we can how far we can go with this. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not good. Um, I believe this is the lesser of the two uh, waves so i might have floor stay over here but all the same um, what i will do is i'm going to cancel that move and i'm going to do as much damage as i can over here can we do can we do it no i can't really do anything good okay that's fine she she's not going to be able to uh do much more with that last action point I'll, I'll have her do an evasion just on the off chance something comes in here um, but the one I'm a little bit concerned about is Uhtred here. Now let's go ahead. Oh, this is not Uhtred. Sorry, this is Lamaz. I'm gonna get confused for a bit because like switching something like that is is actually very confusing for me. Um, let's see how uh, Uhtred does. Yeah, um, Lamaz has very good stun ability and uh, that's the one bad thing about making that swap is that he's not gonna really be making much use of that anymore okay that's pretty good um and we'll what we'll do is we'll move actually yeah let's uh sort of demaclis this guy i started out by saying it's sort of demaclis and then that one comment has ruined my life forever honestly <laughs> um so like uh, yeah i'm just gonna be like forever saying sort of demaclis it's, it kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit better. I won't. I won't lie. Um, all right. So now our lad here, he's got, uh, he's got some chops to take care of. I don't think I want to use any mana if I can help it. And he only has three uh, creatures he can target right now. So let's go ahead and just focus on those three. Um, all right. That one is left. That's fine. We'll just go ahead and, and uh, brace ourselves. And I think that's good. Ugh. Yeah, I was a little bit worried that we weren't gonna. Yeah, this 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 guy this wave over here is is already looking pretty fierce. Um, can we reach from there? No, we can't. So I'm gonna have to let's undo that. There's a way to undo. What is the? I guess it's like backspace. Backspace is a horrible quick button. Um, let's do a rain of arrows. I know I can get like a, a full on, a full pop off on the on the rain of arrows. Actually, I kind of can't. That's oh wait a minute. What what's that? There we go. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Pop. And we'll do um, a tight volley. Let's do a tight volley. Uh, sure. There. This guy here needs. There's a couple of beefy boys over there that need taken care of. Um, and let's use a power strike to kill that guy. Now, let's see. Um, I don't know if I poisoned anyone. He's, uh, uh, our friend Utrid here is supposed to be able to poison people just by being close to them. At the end of it, here's turn, apply 35 poison to all enemies within range of three. So he should be poisoning people. All right. Smack too easy well you didn't really take care of the one that really matters so that's you know let's let's not be cocky now um why don't we move forward here i want to take care of some of these lads 
And can we sort of demac list this one guy here? Yes. Okay, um, and I would love to kill this guy, but honestly, this guy I feel like is a priority because he's got armor. We don't really have the uh, damage it takes to kill him. But I still think, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know what? I'm going to get in front of this lad and embrace myself. I know it's not a good move, but it's the one I've got. Okay, we did poison. That's good. Oh, those, uh... That's fine. That, uh, that, uh, um, ballista is not doing as much as one would hope. All right, let's, uh, get in a little bit closer here and do a tight volley. There's a perfect tight volley right here. Nice. Didn't kill everyone, but that's okay. We're going to do a little bit of cleanup probably with, um... Uhtred. Uhtred, unfortunately... Uh-oh, let's undo that. Uhtred, let's go ahead and get our hands a dirty over here. Here, we're going to miss one. So actually, let's undo that. Kind of want to get like a whole squad of them. I know that the outer uh, outer ones are not as important. They, they Those are basically just for stunning, um, but that's fine. That's what I want to do. Let's kill these two lads. Um, now, what do we want to do? Uh, kind of want to kill this lad here. Okay. And we can sort of demaclis. Let's sort of demaclis this guy here. Perfect. Um, there's definitely a lot of a lot left to clean up, and things are looking pretty nasty over here, but. We are doing what we can. Now, um, <laughs> Lamas, Lamas is going to use his first uh, lightning bolt. Let's do it like right here. Oh, that was pretty good. Blood, blood, blood. We'll do a fireball. That's pretty good too. Um, I will say that things are not necessarily looking very good over here either. So we'll, we'll brace, um, and then it's just Fleur. Fleur has only used one move. Um, can we do some cleanup? Can, uh, if I could reach that other one, I think I would actually switch at this point. But I can't, so that's fine. Um, is it worth using some more mana, or could we just do a little bit of cleanup with our bow? I think we should do some cleanup with the bow. That one. Um, power shot some of these guys in the back. And that's it. Um, I think I'm going to move over now and uh, maybe I can assist. I'll have him uh, have her assist Fleur or sorry, uh, uh, Lamas on the next turn. This hellish night is almost over. Now, this isn't good. Someone's actually gotten in. You don't you hate to see it. Fortunately, he's not in yet, but yeah, it's it's not good. Um, I'll see what uh, needs doing with floor after the, the I, I've done everything else So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna start with Lamar Lamar Lamas, sorry Okay, that was pretty good. Actually. That was like the best one I've had yet. Uh, I need to kill these three lads I'm gonna prioritize a fireball for those. Yeah, cuz they look they're still not dead um yeah, he's still not dead. Th those guys are very tanky. And I have nothing, no points left to uh, bolster or brace. So I might have to move over. We'll see how it goes with uh, Uhtred over here. Um, hmm. I see a good spot right there. But doing it now is means wasting some, some movement. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's uh, let's maybe just like do a little bit of cleanup. And I can do two stomps, so I may as well do two stomps. Let's let's start with this. Yeah, if we can kill one and stun the other, that's actually really good. And then we'll do another stomp over here. Now I know that means that this guy is over here. I might. Uh, there's no undoing that now, unfortunately. Oh, we can sort of demaclist them. Cool. Yeah, them just being inside the perimeter means they're generating panic, so we don't want that. 
Um, I am going to move Fleur over here. I think that they they need to help assist over here. Um, let's like let's just do like a rain of arrows. I don't know if there's a very good one here. Uh, that one's not bad, actually. Are we accidentally hitting our friend? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's uh, that's five. That's pretty good. And um, can we do a tight volley? Not really. We could do a tight volley over here. Um, if I could, if, oh, if I was just like one closer. I actually think it would be better if we just like did a little bit of cleanup. Yeah, uh, it's not ideal. It's fine. This is gonna be tougher than Gildenberg. I, I am I was fully prepared for that Okay, so he took his first bit of health damage that extra armor is really helping the passive armor is is actually just excellent because it means you don't you know you, They can actually take a few hits you can use um, Use the heroes to to really actually defend the city uh, literally <laughs> They uh, they become meat shields for the for the city um, All right, can we kill this lad? Oh, that's actually perfect and then we'll move over and sort of Democlis this last lad Oh, he, he didn't die. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll position ourselves in front of him um, Fleur is gonna be good here. We're gonna we're gonna definitely Get some some work done here. Hold on uh, I am conscientious of doing damage to our uh, wall, but if it means hitting more enemies, then I will. Oh, that actually destroyed the wall. That was not, maybe not so bright. Okay. Um, I'm going to do our uh, lightning bolt on the end here, and hopefully it'll propagate more that way. Wasn't bad. All right. Uh, three... Three is the best we can hope for, and we missed one. We could punch this lad in front of us. I'd really like to um, kill them. Oh, they're still not dead. That really sucks. Not killing these guys means we have to do an extra 40 damage each turn. I guess it doesn't really matter because we're always going to do more than 40 damage, but at the same time, it might mean we have to do more attacks than, than normal. If that ballista could have at least could have killed this guy, that would have been really nice. Oh man, we have some repairs to do after this. Um, let's just get over here with Fleur and do some power shots. Shots, 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 shots. Miss. That's not allowed. Yeah, things are getting spicier in this game for sure. All right, that's that taken care of. And I think the other guy died. I didn't even do anything. To you. I guess he died of poison, huh? Everyone leveled up. We still got an S rank. Um, that's good. That's a good sign. I guess it's because we didn't reach that first tier of actual city panic. Once you um, surpass these tiers, then you start to get debuffed and that definitely uh, reflects poorly on your, on your score. So uh, as much as that was spicy, it wasn't uh, spicy enough to to make the difference now i want to just like almost right away uh go ahead and take care of this I i'm gonna do the giant piles whenever i see them because they're very good uh i definitely want to upgrade we can update upgrade production as well as uh workers required this uh this will give us um it'll upgrade it from 25 pr passive to 40 passive and as well as like how much we get for for um act actively using it so what i'm gonna do is uh, this you know question my my methods if you wish i'm gonna upgrade both mines both times and then uh, dedicate a worker to both of them that'll mean that basically this they pay off far more uh in the future and we get quite a bit of that money back not all of it but quite a bit of it we, we're gonna need more money and the only way to make money unfortunately is to spend money um, We could upgrade them again 
uh but that on the only thing that lets us do is i believe it just lets us dedicate more workers to it um per round we kind of need to keep those workers in reserve for other things like for instance our mana um which we're gonna want to do let's go ahead and do that might want to throw a bit of money at this because that restore mana is very good for everyone so actually let's do the restore mana first then we'll see yeah i think that uh lamas is gonna need more mana all right cool uh that's good for lamas now um we could have a look at our tainted essence and make some more purchases and also i guess ask our final question welcome to the oraculum commander tell me about the other one oh her i don't want to talk about her you want to trade or not will you sell your tainted essence uh we don't have enough to buy weapon productions building we do have enough for stone walls stone walls would be really nice i think the problem with stone walls is that per i can imagine them costing a good chunk of money um this experience gain would be really nice i'd also wouldn't mind trying axes did we get to we got okay we got stabs I, the only thing i care about honestly is that we did manage to get crossbows omen of violence um i think i kind of want to buy stone walls i would like to get weapons productions building but we can't afford it so uh i i think we have something yeah okay we got frost mage set nice uh okay new items can now appear in your your runs and we also got travel 1200 mile uh tiles not miles we got the gladiator set i do um if i was going to pick a form of meta progression i really appreciate just like getting rewarded for stuff that you're doing i have uh it, it kind of falls in line with that um with the, what I've, I've said a lot is like i like being rewarded for the things i'm actually doing um like the choices i'm making have uh, an extra be benefit other than just being strategic or tactical like if i for instance double down or double and triple down on magic then i get magic benefits and it you know it bolsters my my magic uh warriors i think that that's really cool but anyway um so we have 90 gold we have some materials i think we should build i know we should probably spend some money on an extra hero probably shouldn't do anything other than that honestly permanent increases max health for all heroes every production phase can restore some health to heroes during production phase that would be very good apparently we can still buy gold mines that is very tempting but i really think we should build a scavenger's camp I just think that would be really important. Um, we can dedicate some workers to this. I'm not going to spend any more money. Uh, two workers to that might not be a terrible idea because we did just lose a bunch of defenses. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't think that i've said this before but i don't think that there's necessarily bad decisions here there are some decisions that are going to be better than other decisions and maybe i'm not picking the most ideal ones but i am trying my best to uh to pick pick good ones um i think lamas having extra mana is going to be a good idea since he is our our uh mana caster now or our magic caster um isolation is tempting but i kind of don't like any of these if i'm gonna be honest uh okay well magic damage there there's an obvious good one for him uh contamination unlocks the contamination skill allowing to apply contagion to the target when the unit dies all of its negative uh, alterations are applied to two random adjacent units that are not already contagious so how does one apply contagion I guess you use it yeah it is a skill that you use now the reason i'm tempted on this is because lamas actually has something that can apply a pretty decent debuff he has a um 
he's he's got this here weakening touch it's got propagation times six 85 percent and it will it offers negative 30 percent resistance and negative uh negative 30 percent damage so with that in mind we could possibly combo contamination by contaminating something and then debuffing it and then killing it uh and then you know it might be that we can kind of spread that but that might be a bit too slow honestly uh i think that that's only going to be good if lamas is comboed with another hero if we could get another hero then that would be great i do think that lamas having back protection would be ideal so i'm gonna go ahead and take that i'll have it take a second here to look at these every seven mana spent this is gonna be good for him uh has three or less current move points and attacks in melee range eh not as good. Shorter weapons? Mmm, that's not as good for him. Sadist. Resupply. Unlocks a resupply trap skill. Allows, allowing to restore one charge to some of the nearby traps. Oh, there are traps. Oh, that's cool. Oh! Uh, as long as the hero didn't kill anything this turn, plus two multi-hits. Well, he doesn't have a multi-hit. He has uh, AoE damage. Blood magic might actually be really good for him. All the hero's mana is transformed into resistance, conversion rate 30%, and daily mana regen into uh, daily health regen. Um, skills now cost health instead of mana. Four times four original cost. So that means... Whoa, wait, whoa, what? That's kind of insane, actually. I, I don't like that it's times four original cost. So doesn't that mean that this, like, one spell would be, what is it, 24 health damage i think that actually that doesn't work out to be a very good conversion if i'm being honest uh i like cheer but he needs a combo um coagulation would be good but he has actually very bad health regen yeah um lamas is not in a great position right now opportunism might be good for him he might be a good opportunist because uh, he does have some some decent um, debuff. Every 10% of missing mana equals a critical chance. <laughs> eh. uh, plus 6 mana increases... Okay, uh, mana growth. Mana growth is definitely something he's going to want. Alright, let's uh, move on to Fleur. Fleur. Uh, she has Harvester. Every 4 enemies killed, including poison kills. Uh, not as necessary for her. She used quite a lot of spells in the last turn and, and still was unable. Now, her having Contagion is an interesting idea. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. That's interesting. Um, when attacking a unit with full health, the attacker gets plus 15% critical. Oh, I'm sorry. That That has to be the one she has uh plus 29 percent critical and plus 24 percent damage but uh i can't i don't know why it's not telling me but she also has a ridiculous critical power i'm not sure where it would tell me i guess in character details yeah 185 percent critical power she's got ridiculous critical power so first blood actually amazing for her amazing for her Especially since she's... I tend to use the uh, ranger as a uh, initiator. Having resistance wouldn't be a bad idea. But I honestly think that she she took like no damage. She was very much out of the line of fire. So maybe just like giving her more damage wouldn't be a bad idea. Poison damage is an interesting idea. Uh, she doesn't have that yet. R maybe just like give her ranged damage. It's not... It's only 5%. I, I like, I'm tempted to just like reroll something like that in the hopes that I get ranged damage again. Um, and except it's better, but eh. Uhtred. Uhtred is now our uh, tank. So him having resistance would actually be very good. Yeah. Uh, propagation bounces would have been amazing for uh, Lamas. That sucks uh opportunism is an interesting idea i actually think that that could be good for him because um he tends to stun enemies so that means he would actually be doing more damage against enemies that are stunned and then he would actually combo pretty well with lamas 
because uh, Lamas has the ability to do to debuff. When applying poison to a unit currently poisoned, also apply stun. Now this is good for him because he could potentially poison uh, a unit a second time. It's not likely necessarily, but it could happen and it means that he'll have a passive stun effect. But that being said, let's just have a quick look at the others. Whenever the hero is adjacent to a building, uh, I don't think that that's good for him. Crippling punch, upgrade the punch skill, nah. Um, dodge, extra dodge and extra move points. Now that is interesting. Um, I like that idea. Unlocks mark, magic fuel, damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. Could be good, and he doesn't actually use all that much mana. So that would just be an extra buff to his damage. Yeah, why not? And since, like, I actually took a, quite a bit of extra mana stuff for him, so that means that me pivoting him means that we can actually turn some of that, uh, some of that nice damage or mana into, into extra damage, so that's really nice. Let's get our knight reward. Um, health, less reliability, more healing received, more reliability, more range damage. Could be good. Uh, that would be good for Fleur, who has nothing right now. Uh, isolation. This offers... Oh, this is a two hands magic weapon. Oh! Oh, this is a better... Um, this. Let's look at uh, Lamas. Lamas has our current book. Does do more damage. Tome of Secrets plus one. Very tempting. Hand crossbow though. Ooh, hand crossbow. Hand crossbow. I, listen, I, this is this is really good, but look, hear me out, right? This is 10 to 20 damage more, okay? 10 to 20 damage more uh, and an isolation bonus. It's pretty good. I won't lie. It's actually pretty good. 10 to 20 damage more. However, this is an offhand. Um, is it an offhand? One hand range weapon rare. Is this offhand? I actually don't know. Uh, that's this is a hand crossbow. I'm pretty sure this is offhand. I actually wonder, can anyone use this? It might be I'm uh, making a mistake here. Give me a second. Um, well, Lamas can't use it. Fleur can't use it, so the only one who could use it is actually Uhtred. This does 72 to 101 damage. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just wrong. Now, this thing does poison. I think this is just a weapon. I thought it was an offhand. I really thought it was an offhand weapon, but I don't think it is. So maybe, actually, Tome of Secrets is just better. Or it's just a, you know, it's just a better thing to take. Um, so yeah, okay. I'm glad I actually did the legwork there and puzzled it out because I could have been making a, a very bad mistake there. So, um, that's fine. We have a little bit of money we can throw at some equipment. I definitely need to build some more structures or uh, defenses. Stone gate. So we can build some beefy stuff now. These are very expensive. Stone wall is 40. Um, like, dang. And you can't upgrade them? Oh, no, okay, that's a gate there. You can upgrade them. So maybe we should upgrade, right? Rather than wasting um, money on uh, or, or su uh, supplies on, like, repairing certain stuff, we should just, like spend a bit extra on uh bolstering our defenses uh i kind of want to do another ballista but like this over here is not good either um if we did okay if we did ad we could turn two of these into oh wait it doesn't uh okay wait what oh my god okay they they thought of the, they already thought of this that wait that sucks what uh what yo that kind of sucks they it, it upgrades to stone but it doesn't give me the full health of the of the stone um okay well i'm not sure i, I have to assume that the game 
is smart about the conversion rate and is not actually just like shortchanging me there. Oh god, 16. Can we afford even one ballista after that? Uh, we can build one ballista. I'm gonna build one here. The stone walls unfortunately block the ballistas. Which I'm really not a huge fan of. I'm not sure. Maybe we can like upgrade the ballistas later. Um, whoops. I'm doing things I don't mean to do. I don't have any more materials, which means that I actually have a uh, when like pockets here that are not covered like this over here is not not covered and that's really really bad um is there and i have no workers left so i can't i can't really manifest more materials um can't really manifest more workers okay well uh, so that's um potentially bad but we're gonna have to be good with it for now uh okay so can we we could get pants oh man i really wish that uh fleur could could wear pants she can't wear pants and i don't know why i'd love for someone to tell me why Ooh, wooden longbow this offers less reliability more or less the same damage but some new skills what are these skills um offers dodge this is much the same snipe shot this uh oh wait a minute okay so she has like it, it has a better aoe i think that the arctic blast is just better and it's actually cheaper mana wise than uh, the reign of arrows however it only has one aoe which i don't like um snipe shot is undodgeable which is kind of nice but it also costs two mana so and she can use it twice so with the longbow um the user kind of changes from being like a uh cleanup crew to a like individual killer like they can they could probably kill a lot more enemies i don't think i like that and the reason i don't like it is because the reliability is worse specifically like she it gives her some block but i don't know i don't think i like that um maybe we should look at some accessories we could afford both this amulet and this amulet this would offer more health and less accuracy i don't think i like that either if i'm being honest um linen armor oh we've got some very good armor on, on fleur anyway this offers more move points and more dodge points uh I don't know. We have a better wand. Th this is just a normal wand, though. I do think I like the wand more than the book. I'm making the book work, but I don't know if I like... This offers more experience gained and reliability. So let's buy that. And I don't know... Health regen is plus five. That's That could be good. Could be good on a tank, maybe. I don't like that accuracy debuff, though. So maybe I'll just buy this and I'll put that on, um, I think I'd like to put that on floor actually. I think extra reliability for her would be good. Um, I'd like to get some more propagation for Lamas. Uh, so I think that's pretty much everything. I don't think I can afford anything else. I'm a little bit concerned about how things are going to go here. Um, again, I think I'm just going to put Fleur in this corner. I think it's a good place for her and uh, she can kind of swap between wherever she needs to be. She has the movement points to make that happen. I guess I'm going to position um, Uhtred like here just to he'll move into the sweep you know he'll kind of sweep right to left so that he can cover this little window here if i had any materials left over i believe me i would put like even even one of these crappy uh barricades would be better than nothing and lamas uh lamas is good where he is 
End phase. Let's do it. And back to hell. Let the slaughter begin. Oh god, new enemies. Did both ballistas uh, target the same dude? That's not cool. Oh, there's a window over here too. Oh no. And there's something in my... The, the corpse is actually in my way here. Oh, I guess that, that was dumb. I didn't have to do that. I just like 100% wasted that. Okay, for now, things are actually okay over here. I am going to block this window. And I will brace. Actually, let's just... Yeah, because he actually gets an armor bonus for, for blocking that. Okay, now, um, Fleur... I, I'm wondering if this guy explodes. He looks like something that would explode when... Uh, when taken damage. Um, I'm gonna have Floor over here. Uh, maybe she shouldn't be that aggressive, actually. I'll have her, like, here. Can she reach anything from that? Nope. So she's gotta move over a little bit. And we'll do one more. Okay, that way we have a bit more flexibility. In fact, she could even move back a bit after she does some stuff. This is a pretty good... We've got some pretty good um, stuff we could do here. Um, or do we? Maybe not. All right, let's see if we can't do some stuff with Uhtred first. Um, I'm not sure what yet. Let's just, I, I kind of want to, well, this guy is going to be a pain, right? Because he's got that resistance up. So we'll sort of demacless them just to start with. I'm a little bit worried about these guys over here. They're going to be kind of a pain in the butt. We have eight movement. So if I move here, then I don't really have a lot of options left. I could move here and then do a stomp and then I still have enough movement to move over here. Okay, so let's do that. Um, we'll kill these lads. No, we won't. Wow. I've never missed that badly before. Okay, well, we'll have to make peace with that. We're going to kill... Oh, we didn't kill him. Okay, that's fine. We should still be able to do some damage this guy is resistant to stun but we still stunned him so that's a good feeling now floor um floor might have to be a bit more aggressive than i planned but that's why i um didn't do anything with her until i moved with utred yeah he does explode okay so she can't really reach anything else so she's gonna back up just so that we keep our options open for the next um, phase. And that is everyone's turn. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Oh, God. That got really nasty really quickly. Oh, he is... They, they just blasted through his armor. So we're. I think these guys are like frogs. I think that's the theme we're, we're seeing here. Um... Okay, that's that's a pretty good uh, good stomp, and I'm gonna do it a second time because like we're gonna have an advantage on the ones that are already stunned. Uh, let's actually move with Lamas next because I want to know what we're gonna need to do with um, Stormy, not Stormy. <laughs> Stormy is long dead. Fleur. All right, that's pretty good. I I, I like that actually, and actually, why don't we? Yeah, we could do this as well. Nice. That frog is still alive, though. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would love to kill the frog, but I think it's more important to kill what's, like, right in front of me. Uh, I do think I have to commit Fleur to killing s some stuff over here because um, it's not looking very good. So I'm actually going to commit her a little bit more. Um, there's a really good rain of arrows there. Perfect. She can do some extra damage to some of these frogs. Uh, actually, maybe just a tight volley here would be good. Hmm. She. These frogs are kind of hard to kill. This guy's got 117. She should be able to kill it. 
Uh, she didn't. These guys are suck. They suck. I don't like them. Okay, uh, Uhtred. Uhtred, you still have some stuff you can do. Actually, you have a couple of things you can do. So you could, um, sort of Democlis this guy. That did kill him. But that offers, uh, I guess their poison actually buffs enemies, which is not good. And I think it probably poisons me, right? So we want to be a little bit away. Um, when we, when we kill them. I think this is a good place for, um, Uhtred. He is poisoned. I don't know how long that lasts. It looks like two rounds. And I see there's some dudes over here, so I'm going to back, uh, Fleur up a little bit. Actually, one more wouldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's getting kind of spicy, but actually I think I'm handling things all, all right. I don't like this over here. That guy's going to be a real pain in the butt. Those stone walls are going to be very invaluable, I think. All right, let's 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 again uh, move with Lamas first, just to see how things go. Ah, that was, that was great. Um... We have some options for the fireball. So let's, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't fireball. Cause then he, he only gets like one turn after that. This guy's got 154 health. I don't know, I, I fireballed. It just felt right. And I need to kill that frog. I think we need to, I need to kill the frog. Like I need to prioritize the frogs. Oh my god, okay. Pardon the doorbell, alright, and, and aggressive, I have to say, aggressive knocking, damn. Um, alright, so... Hopper... Hmm. What are we gonna do here? There's a lot of guys here, and I don't think I can take care of... Okay, you know what, there's a, there's a pretty good spot for us here to do a nice stomp. We stunned that frog, so maybe we don't have to worry about that for now. And, um, I'd like to do something here. We could do another stomp here. Yeah, stunning the frog is great. Um, we'll sort of Democlis that other frog over there. Just to do a little bit of extra damage. This is actually very good. We've, we've created a nice little bottleneck. This guy over here, not a fan of him. Really not a fan that he managed to kind of, like, break the ranks. Um... So now, what do we want to do? This isn't bad. That's not bad. Do we need to use a spell every single turn? No, but I don't... I want to make use of our, our resources. That's actually great, because we can use one more, like, normal one to kill him. He, he buffs nobody, and then we can kill these lads. Nice. That crit was great. Um, and with that, I'm actually going to move her back over. So she'll clean up some, some stuff over here on her next turn. Um, Uhtred is just going to clean up what's in front of him. Oh. I was wrong in thinking that we were almost done. That's all you've got. This guy over here is going to be a real pain in the butt. Okay, well, we can always move uh, Fleur back if need be. We'll see what happens. Let's, um... Let's move Uhtred here. Or, sorry, Lamas. No, that is Uhtred. I got it right, actually. And do a stomp just to clean up this stuff over here. Didn't clean up, unfortunately. Why? Why not? I need to kill this lad. We got some extra mana. Um... This guy over here, I hate him. Uh, all right, so let's let's move over here. We're gonna make the most of the stomp right there. We could do better than that, but it's not terrible. And I don't want to kill anyone who's stunned, actually. So let's just kill a random dude. This guy here, perfect. Now let's see how we're doing here. Uh. I'm seeing a pretty, a couple of good opportunities for our chain. 
uh, lightning spell. That was pretty much as perfect as you could ask for. Um, now, I don't like this guy in front of us. I think if I move back, actually, I'll have a better line of sight. Wait, the, the, this, yeah, the stupid, uh, I, I, I don't hate the, the, the stone walls. They're very good defenses, obviously, but I don't like that they block our line of sight. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy with just a normal spell. I apparently, never mind. I'm not going to do that. I, I was going to try and get in there and, uh, do something more substantial. Actually, again, like if I go here, yeah, I, ga I gain a substantial armor bonus. So I'm going to try and kill that frog. We will buff a couple of enemies by doing so, but that's, we're going to have to make, make peace with that. Now, Fleur still has a turn. Um, I definitely see a, a good opportunity here. But I think that, well, okay, if I was to move here... Can she reach anything right now? She actually can. So if she, if she was to move one forward, she could reach both these guys. If she was to move two forward, I'm pretty sure she could reach all three of these lads. So could we make do anything substantial with this? We can have her move and then check. Yeah, she could still do her um, tight volley. So let's move her two forward. And then we're going to have her uh, do just... Oh my god, miss, really? Well... Um, I was going to have her do a Reign of Arrows, but I guess I messed that up. Die. So then if she moves back, wait, why? I guess it wasn't two. It was going to be four because she had to move forward and then back. So I kind of messed that up. Actually, I messed that up a lot. Uh, Not good not good really not good what about if she moved there can she do a tight volley now no not really oh man that was such a good tight volley and i i just a hundred percent messed it up oh that 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 is not a good feeling Okay, well, uh, that was a complete wasted, uh, waste of potential. Well, luckily, uh, Uhtred is, like I say, a oh no, oh good, 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 good. That, that, uh, I forgot there was a ballista there. Did I put that there? Okay, uh, Uhtred is absolutely gonna completely destroy here. I'm pretty sure the poison counts as uh, towards opportunism as well. So that's nice. Uh, I'm going to move Fleur over a little bit. I'd like to kill that one dude like here. Nice. Because then uh, Uhtred can get in here and do a really proper stomp. Stun the frog. And then he can do a crush as well on those two lads. Clean them up. Um, so yeah, I, I, Lamas is really cleaning up. He's doing, he's doing a great work because he's just like blasting left and right. And then like over the shoulder shooting with his, his, uh, little spell caster. It's great. Love him. Love him for that. Okay. Let's, um, this is still a pretty not terrible tight volley. I know I'm breaking my rule of like not checking to see if maybe I need to move her over. But I think at this point, it's just better off if I don't, if I commit to one side rather than moving her over. But still all the same, I'll, I'll move her just to, just to check, you know. Um, all right, so Uhtred is going to pop out the corner and then do a nice, oh, that was amazing. That was fantastic. All right, let's, uh, let's do a nice fireball. That, uh, that's actually perfect because we don't want to kill the frogs until basically they're on their own. Amazing. All right. And then we'll move him back and he gains that armor bonus. It's basically actually, it's actually better than doing a brace is if he's next to these, uh, these rocks. So that's ideal. All right. This is, this is good. 
We did get a little bit lucky uh, with that ballista killing that one dude over here, but that's why you that's why you want the ballistas. Oh, okay. So they did break through a little bit. We haven't reached um, a, a city panic tier yet, so that's good. I don't think that Floor will need to come back over, but we'll see. Stomp. Uh, I think he is going to hit a barricade, unfortunately, and he did, and he did destroy it. Crush, bash, and uh, sort of Demaclis. I guess this guy. Can we have Fleur kill that one dude if she moves over very slightly? Like right there. Yes. Okay. And then, um, I actually, I don't know if she can reach anything over there. Oh yeah, she can. It's, uh, could be better. Could be much better actually. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. She gets a free action for that, but she doesn't have any moves left. And I can't... Oh, okay, we could do a tight volley and it'll kill too. That's actually not bad. All right, now... Um, do we want to spend any more mana is the thing. If I was to do something there, it would hit the wall. I don't really want to hit the wall if I can avoid it. So I actually think that just doing some basic spells... And I can only do four of them, but four is enough. Oh, missing with them is like really not okay. Um, let's just move in here and do like a punch. We actually killed with one, so that's good. Uh, anyone have any action points left? No. What? We have move points, but that's fine. All right. And poison is actually doing uh, uh, quite a bit of work. Miss. Good. Come over here and kill this guy. Very good. Um... Kill this lad. All right. I think that went well. We still got an S, I think. Everyone leveled up. That's the important thing. Nice. You do get quite a bit of extra rewards for that little bit of extra effort. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, that was easy. Uh -huh. I mean, it wasn't uh, terrible, I won't, uh, I will say. Okay, so here's our first, uh, this is our first time we're defending on these corners, which is not great because we haven't really built up those, those corners at all, right? So we're going to have to spend extra resources building those up. I will do a production phase before I end this video. Why don't we start by leveling up our heroes? Uh, Lamas having extra mana is actually great. Let's go ahead and give him that extra mana. mana. Um, extra skill range. Excellent. This has this is skill range, right? Yes. Yeah, that's actually very good for him. Those are very, very good for him. Uh, when a negative alteration uh, is applied by the hero, plus 1% opportunism. That's actually interesting. Um, that could mean that applying our negative, our, our buff, or sorry, debuff would give us opportunism. So yeah, that would act actually improve our damage dealt. Every seven mana spent restore one action point could be good for him as well. Uh, extra mana is just like really good. I, I'm, I'm just gonna like really double down on that and I'll give him sadist next time. I think that that would be good. But just giving him a huge chunk of extra mana is just ideal. Um, I think that sometimes the boring choice is actually just better off um, for survival. Um, now, oh yeah, Fleur. Let's do Fleur. Giving her extra mana wouldn't be a terrible idea, but she tends to, even using her mana like very consistently, tends to make do with what she's got. Um, giving her extra damage wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, opportunism isn't a terrible idea, although, I don't know, maybe just reliability. Reliability would be good. 
I tend to like to pick from what I, I've g been given because re-rolling is such a risk. Now, I, I marked this. Damage is increased by 30% of the hero's current mana. Eh. It's a good skill, but only if they've got mana, so I don't know. As long as the hero didn't kill anything this turn, plus two multi-hit. Uh, I don't think that's good for her. When a negative alteration... Yeah, that's not good for her either. Whenever an isolated unit is killed, plus 4% damage or plus 6% when using physical damage up to 60%. Hitting a non-isolated unit decreases this bonus. I don't think that's great for her. Negative skill range is awful for her. Um, I really... Like, it's good. There's a That's a good bonus, but I really don't think we can do that. Every eight action points spent... The next mana consuming skill gets mana cost rounded down, divided by half. Um, it's not bad. Whenever the hero has three or less current mana move points and attacks in melee range. Nah. Extra trinket room, contamination, stunning. Uh, she really doesn't have a lot of options. As long as the hero isn't wounded, extra dodge and move points. That's good. Let's take that. She's moving a around a lot, so that extra move points is really going to benefit her. The last one is Uhtred. Uhtred are our resident tank. Uh, getting a ton of extra health wouldn't be a terrible idea at all. So let's go ahead and take that. Daily health regen is actually not a terrible idea either. Um, physical damage would be good too, but I, I like to take... If there is an uncommon that is actually like I can kind of... Uh, even if it's kind of a stretch, I, I think I'd prefer to take it not like not amazing but rare skill extra move points for Uhtred might be a good idea as well but i kind of like the septic shock whenever a unit takes poison damage within a range of five restore two health now that's an interesting idea um all enemies within a range of three so actually, this thing is much better than I think, because it's not like... I thought it was just like a, a certain number of heroes within... Like, I thought it was three... Sorry, I thought it was going to poison three monsters, basically. But it's actually much better than that. It's within a range of three, so he basically cr like is a like constant cloud of poison, which is really cool. Um, the shorter weapons is actually not a terrible choice for him, because he doesn't have any ranged weapons. Unless, uh, this crush is ranged. Oh, this crush is actually ranged. So it might be that we, we'd shortchange crush to give him more accuracy and reliability. I'm still considering that, honestly. Um, septic shock. I'm really tempted on this septic shock. Also apply stun 50%. Inflicts damage over time. Stun 50% for one time. I don't know. I don't know what that really means. Um, Propagation bounces. Lone wolf. As long as there is no hero within a range of 5. Plus 8%. If there's no range hero within a range of 10. Not bad for him, actually. He has been on his own for quite a lot. Even 8% would be good. But 10% or 12% would be amazing. Um, this Relentless is also good for him. I'm going to go with the Septic Shock. I don't know if it works for him. I really don't. But if it does, it could mean that he basically every other turn is like giving off a, a passive stun effect. Which would be just fantastic. Let's see what we get here. Epic Helmet. Resistance, armor, dodge. Uh, uh, amazing. Oh, epic hammer, though. Uh, propagation bounces. What? That's not... That's not what you want to see. Isolation, plus 5% the stun chance. Uh, the, uh, we the, um, the damage dealt might be worth it. Uhtred. Uh, it is a sizable chunk of extra damage. That propagation bounce is kind of sucks because that's kind of what's eating up the epic. Like, that's what makes it epic is it's giving propagation bounces. So I really don't like that. Not a huge fan of that. In a weird way, uh, this is very strange, but it might be worth, like, 
I don't know, in a, in a parallel universe, I guess, I, I, I might, I'd like put this hammer on Lamas, um, cause Lamas could then have two weapons, like he get, gains the benefit of, of having a melee, a, a good melee weapon. It, the melee weapon offers him extra stun chance, which works well with this hammer. And then the propagation bon bon bounces would also benefit him and the mana. I hate that I'm considering this, but it's actually not a terrible idea. I do think that this helmet is just like straight up better though. Like if I was to look at Uhtred, Uhtred doesn't have a, a helmet. It would offer him resistance, health, armor, dodge, resi like it, it's it's just better off all around. This uh, These Greaves are also pretty good, but I don't think that they're, well, plus 18, plus 8% accuracy. I, I don't know. I think this helmet is just better. <sighs> survivability versus really cool uh extra propagation extra stun chance uh yeah i have to go with the helmet i have to go with the helmet i'm sorry it's it was a it was a very tough choice because like it is a really cool idea um giving our our spell caster a hammer so he gains an, a, like optional melee extra propagation it's it's cool it is really cool, but is it really going to, I don't know, it, it, is it going to um, pay for itself? You know, is it worth it more than just giving our tank, like, much more tankiness, you know? Like, I actually think with, um, with that helmet, Uhtred could probably tank this side on his own. Maybe not, probably not, but you never know could possibly um i'm a little bit worried about fleur because um she doesn't have a great setup here i kind of want to let's destroy these that barricade because then she can kind of move between these zones and i think that she can shoot over no she can't shoot over stonewall uh these stone walls really suck like they don't they're good they're really good but like they are they they really s choke off my flexibility i wonder if they're if we upgraded them if we could um like are the next tier of defenses better adjacent heroes can jump over obviously impossible to see through uh doesn't block line of sight i don't know um, you know what I need to do though? Um, well, let's let's do workers. I need to up spend some money and upgrade some of these houses I might do oh that one's already upgraded once let's do all the ones that are at 40. Oh, wow Okay, so only two of them are at 40. So let's do let's do two and then we'll have eight workers and that's pretty good then uh, I'd like to let's start by using our minds because then we can kind of gauge where we're at and i definitely think we should I, i'm gonna upgrade our scavenging camp it's a bit of a higher ask i'm wondering actually let's let's go ahead and upgrade it so that we can uh we only have to use one worker and yeah, okay, we'll upgrade it twice so that we can, uh, we get the full benefit of it and we only have to use one worker. Our workers are really valuable right now. Um, we could upgrade the mines again and actually it would pay for itself, but we would uh, we use two more workers to justify it. So, but let's do that because we're going to be getting more workers in the next round, I think. And the extra money will pay for uh, upgrading the houses, so we'll get even more workers. Uh, then we definitely need, need to take some time uh, and, and workers to... Uh, we, we need to upgrade this or get, get our heroes some mana. The only one who really needs the extra mana is um, Lamas. And uh, what's I think what's good right now is I, I think that they have enough mana just because i'm taking the right kind of upgrades so we don't really need to think about this gift we can think about it but i don't want to throw money at something that is really a negligible uh kind of 
upgrade. Could scavenge again, because we do have some spare workers. Uh, I do think, though, what we should do is think about either getting an inn. We could buy an another gold mine. That would be... That's really tempting. I think we should look at either a temple or an, uh, an inn for an extra hero. Um... So it's a very high price, though. Mm, what could we do? We could do a gold mine and a inn. And still have some money left over. Not a lot, admittedly. Temple would be bad. I feel like... I feel like I shouldn't do a temple yet because we're actually okay for health. I think it, uh, the temple would be better. Um, we'd be better off with it next round if we've taken a substantial amount of damage. I just think an inn overall is going to benefit us more. And rather than buy another, um, rather than buy uh, uh, another gold mine, we might want to look at a hero. So let's get an inn. I think this is a good place for an inn over there. Let's see what we can buy, what we can afford. We can only afford one of these heroes, Casper. Casper is level one. I really don't think that's worth it. Everyone else is level five or four. I don't think throwing 50 gold at a level one hero is going to be worth it. He does have plus 30 armor. He has re reliability. He's a hammer user. He is unhealthy. Uh, I really don't know. I feel like just saving up for a better hero wouldn't be a bad idea. And so therefore I am going to build another mine. So I know we're, we're taking risks here with our money. Um, but like, as I say, you got to spend money to make money. If you feel like you're comfortable, then that's when you have to plan for the future. Um, now, I could upgrade it, but I'm not going to. Oh, maybe I should, though. I'm just thinking about it, because then we could... Um, if we upgrade it, we'll get our money back. Yeah, let's do it, actually. And then we'll only spend one hero, or one worker. And I was thinking we should um, definitely grab this large corpse over here. Grab the large corpses whenever you can, I think. Because that's extra money, extra materials... They're just, they're very good. The lar I, I don't care so much about the small piles. In fact, the small piles almost benefit us by being there. But the large piles are, are decent. Um, so we have 50 gold left. I Can we upgrade anything else? No. And I don't think we can build anything else. We could build another mana well. Not a terrible idea, honestly. But I think that there are better uses of our resources um we did the scavenger camp yeah we could upgrade the scavenger ham camp but we don't have any workers left so that would just be a waste of money so let's take that 50 gold and buy some better gear because i really have been shortchanging our heroes uh in, in terms of gear now this is a really nice hammer plus 25 armor plus seven percent isolation it's not the greatest stat to give to our uh our tank um I wish I could, like, can I right-click these? Um, I wish I could, like, right-click these and, like, yeah, that's a maybe, that's a maybe. I forget what block stat does. I think block is, is decent, but I don't remember why. Plus 25% poison damage is interesting. We could give this to our tank, and then he might do some extra poison damage. Here's our first crossbow. I'm interested in this, but it's a, it's a tricky ask to change, to pivot to something that we don't really need to pivot to. Um, effect. Inaccurate. This attack's lack of precision increases the target's dodge. Um, I, I, I don't know. So that's a wooden crossbow. I thought the hand, cro the hand crossbow did not say offhand. Does it not need to say offhand? Does it only need to say one hand? 
I'm not sure. I'm a little bit confused. Like, to say this says one hand. So this isn't like, you know, this is a main weapon. And then you can have an offhand weapon. I'm a little bit confused about certain things. This offers really decent armor and damage. So it might be good to give to our um, tank. It looks like I'm planning to, to buy stuff for our tank. Now, I, I did give him a blood crystal. I think 32 armor is actually um, better than plus 40 health. But, oh, we can't afford this hammer. I don't even know why I was looking at it. Oh, here we go. Offhand scepter. Again, the only person who can use that is Uhtred, because everyone else is using two-handed weapons. So, uh, not really a big deal. Offers momentum. This thing is a, uh, would be the first momentum weapon that I would use. I'm sorry I'm kind of relying on things that I already, like, know. I, I are, you know, trusted true. Like, I'm not really experimenting very much with, with other weapons. Um, oh, no. Can he not use... Oh, why does this keep happening? Oh, I see. It would... Yeah, okay. There we go. That's fine. And actually, we can use this... Um, someone else can take this. I guess Lamas. Because um, currently Fleur is using something already. So this is fine. Okay, well that was a pretty robust um, production phase. And actually I'm not done yet, still. Welcome to the Oraculum, Commander. Are you hiding? Ah, the unfathomable, in inextinguishable, carnal, pure ecstasy. Behold the true face of your savior, my luscious, petty human. Does the shape of meat please you? What? I don't know how to answer that. Shimmer of dark. I got a Shivo. Ah, ah, ah. Understandable. Don't mind me. As my, peer, uh, my powers strengthen, I am feeling a bit more impish. Uh, but you don't seem in much dismay. I thought I might make more of an impression. Shy, aren't we? Will you sell your tainted essence to me, dear? Well, that was... Uh, strange. Mounted ballistas. A new defense can now be built in your haven. Oh, would those be able to shoot over stone walls? Oh, I haven't built defenses yet. Yeah, you know what? Give me mounted ballistas. That seems like a very good timing. Uh, we also... We can build a new structure. What is this? A seer. Can re reveal additional data about the next enemy horde. And also repel the fog during production phase with the help of workers. Now that sounds really good. I am a huge fan of that. Okay, and we still need to build defenses. We're not done yet, still. Um, I maybe I should have like do I should do these in order, because like if I could have built a seer, I might have done that. Um We have a lot of material. Which is good. We cannot really upgrade these barracks. Sorry, not barracks. Uh, um, barriers. Barricades. Jesus. We can't really upgrade them. They're just kind of stuck there. And if I want to upgrade them, then I have to destroy them. Which isn't a great feeling. And I don't think I really want to do something like that. What I might do... I'll destroy the... Well, no, never mind. I won't destroy that one. I think I just might like to make our wall... Um, build our wall behind the barriers because then we're not wasting them so let's uh let's build let's build get out of the way Lamas build a couple uh, I got a plan for gates so let's build a gate there this, uh, this structure, this wall over here is actually pretty well built up. I don't want to shortchange that ballista there. Unless I can upgrade them. Can I, can I upgrade them? Stop it. You can upgrade them. Okay, that's worth knowing. So let's upgrade that one and that one. 
Um, I'm going to destroy this barricade. And this barricade. I'm sorry, my wall is going to be very not good. Like, it's not, aesthetically, it's going to look awful. You'll just have to forgive me. But, um, okay, that's good. Then we'll put a wall there. And then we're going to... We have enough to build two of these? Only two. So this wall is pretty good. It, I mean, it's not great. There's there's definitely holes that I don't like, but it'll have to do. I should have made those gates, shouldn't I? That was silly. Okay, well, that'll have to do. At least we don't have any holes. Like, we have... Some things are being defended by barricades rather than stone walls and some stone walls are being defended by barricades so i don't know like maybe my maybe my methods are not um logical but uh i'm trying my best and that's all i can do so i think that's gonna do it um fairly long episode because the uh, production phase i i definitely like to give it a bit more attention <clears throat> Uh, I hope you are enjoying the series. Definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this if you are, are, are enjoying it. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.